So just like we really killed the lines, we had a standard form and a point slope form and a slope intercept form. Uh, yeah, and uh, we're going to really kill parabolas. We're going to have three forms that you're going to see parabolas in. And if I've rigged these right, all of these equations all boil down to the same thing. Uh, they're just presented in different ways. And if you're presented with these parabolas in different ways, there's always a fast way to find where the vertex is. So if you're given to it in standard form, just ax squared plus bx plus c, you can just get your vertex by x equals negative b over 2a. So negative the b term, so negative and negative 6 over 2 times 3. And so uh, positive 6 over 6 is 1. So the x-coordinate of our vertex should be 1. And how do I get the y-coordinate of the vertex? Well, I've got a handy-dandy equation that tells me y equals this, right? So when x is 1, the y will equal 3 times 1 squared minus 6 times 1 minus 24. So 1 squared is 1 times 3 is 3 minus 6 minus 24, so negative 27. So I have the vertex is 1 comma negative 27. Easy, right? We like this formula. It's not too bad to memorize. It's the, it's the quadratic equation without the square root part. So if you already know your quadratic formula, you've already got the uh, negative b over 2a from that. Uh, but it seems a little cheap, right? It's like, hmm, negative b over 2a, where did that come from? Well, it turns out it comes from completing the square. So if I completed the square from this guy to this guy, then I would get it in this form. And if it was presented to you with the square already completed, this is my favorite form, the vertex form. You just pluck the vertex right out of that. So your vertex in this one will be 1. You have to change the sign. When it's grouped in with transformations, you're always changing the sign to kind of undo it. So it's negative 1 there, so it's positive 1 here. But the minus 27 is going to stay minus 27. That's just tacked on the end. It was like the y's were that, and now they're 27 less than that. So that, that transforms as you think it would. So that's just a normal transformation of your parent graph, your regular y equals x squared, shifted to the right one and down 27. You get your vertex just like that. So cool. If it's presented in this form, you pluck that vertex straight out. If you have it in a uh, intercept form, in this factored form, then this is called the intercept form because you can get your x-intercepts right out of it. When y is 0, the x's that are going to make that y is 0 are a negative 2 and a positive 4, right? When x is negative 2, this will be 0. When x is positive 4, that'll be 0. And so if I know my uh, x-intercepts are at negative 2, and positive 4, then I know since my parabola is nice and symmetric, my vertex should be smack in between negative 2 and 4. So you can either visualize um, negative 2 and 4 and go, hmm, well, looks like 1 is right between there. It's 3 away from negative 2 and 3 away from 4. You could also take an average to find the middle. You could average the 2 and the 4. You could add them, the negative 2 and the 4. You could add them up and divide by how many you have. So negative 2 plus 4 is 2, divided by 2 is 1, and that gives you the middle, uh, which would be 1. And so again, once you have the x-coordinate of the middle, how are you going to find the y? Well, your equation tells you what y equals, right? So y will equal 3 times 1 plus 2 times 1 minus 4. So when the x is 1, the y is 3 times 3 times negative 3 which is negative 27. So it looks like I did rig these equations right. They're all the same equation presented in different forms. So I've shown you the fastest way to get there from form to form, right? Like if they give it to you in standard form, x equals negative 2, b over 2a is the way to go. If they give it to you in vertex form, you just pluck it right out. If they give it to you in intercept form, find the intercepts, that's awesome to know as well, and then find the middle. Um, but let's say you're like, dude, I really don't like intercept form, right? You could always take it from intercept form, just expand this out, and you will get back to standard form. And then you could do that. So if you just, if you were to uh, FOIL expand those out, uh, distribute in the three, you would get back to standard form. And then you could do this. Um, 
and you could do the same thing with this one to get back to standard form. And then you could just do x equals negative b over 2a if that's your favorite method. Uh, you could also, if you don't like the standard form, you can want to go pure, you can complete the square to see that lovely transformed form here. Or you could factor this. If you factored this, you would get to your intercept form, and then you would find your intercepts as well. So they're all interchangeable, uh, so I encourage you to play with them. Try, try going from one to the other. Try graphing them on Desmos. Try making them your own. And enjoy.